Hello there. Today I'll be showing you how to make watermelon brownies. I just saw this idea one day at work. I was like, hey, why not try it? So, today and how to make it. A uh, standard box of brownies requires two-thirds cup of oil, a quarter cup of water, and two eggs. However, in this recipe I'm going to make, I'm going to be placing the water with about half a cup, as you'll see in the video, uh, of watermelon juice I'll be taking out of the watermelon that I cut up. So, want to follow me? See how it goes. We're, uh, we're going that way, so if you want to follow, or... Okay, fine. Alright, here's everything I'm using for the watermelon brownies I'm going to make. I got the mix, the eggs, and the oils all mixed together. Now I'm just waiting on the watermelon. The recipe required a quarter cup of water. And instead I'm going to use the watermelon juice, about a quarter of a cup in this. As you can see, I got a little bit of extra in this bowl, and I'm going to use it because I do not want to waste it. And right here is the pieces of watermelon that I cut up and used to squeeze the juice out. And I'll be putting that in with the brownies as well. And it'll be, I think it'll add a lot more flavor. I have no idea how this is going to turn out either way. And I diced it, sliced it, chopped it up like all Freddy Krueger style. As much as I could to get the juice. And there's still some in here. And right now, I don't know if you can see it, it has a bit of a, kind of a uh, coconut type of, Texture is all stringy and such, but not as thick. And so I'm going to be mixing this all together up and throwing my into my 13 by 9 pan and throwing it into the oven at 350 degrees. And I'm first I'm going to be doing it at 28 minutes and I'm going to keep checking it as it goes on. All right, I got the brownies all cooled off from the oven, so now it's time to taste it. So I'm gonna cut it up right now. I'm hoping this turns out pretty good and good. I got myself a piece right here, a little corner piece, so it's all right. Not bad. I think I can taste a hint of watermelon. Pretty good. Pretty good. I would say it was a pretty good recipe to do. So, how are you? Might as well just try it. I myself just, uh, this whole thing cost under four bucks because I bought everything on sale. So, why don't you do all do yourself a favor and try the damn recipe I made? I took over my buddy's barbecue. People were skeptical at first, like, I don't know, man, you know, it's kind of the mixture. It doesn't really fit too well with me here. But they enjoy the hell out of it. Even the little ones enjoy the hell out of it. And one of the things they said is that, you know, kind of reminds you of like zucchini bread or banana nut bread. So that's kind of like the texture or the feel of the taste uh, as you would be eating it. So in the back of your head, you'd be like, okay, yeah, it's kind of something like down that kind of road. So in retrospect, the ingredients you'll need is about two thirds cup of oil, half a cup of watermelon and two eggs. And as you see in the video, I cooked about for a total of 30 minutes and then let it cool before I started, you know, devouring it. So, well, I hope you enjoyed it. This has been Cooking with Ryan, and have a bueno day.
damn, I'm going to eat all this myself. So damn good. My God. Delicioso.